Tonight in 7 News flashback, an entertainment revolution. Drive-in theatres spread across Queensland in 1954. Now in the southeast, only one operates nightly at Yatla, while an Ipswich church screens films every Saturday night at the Tivoli Drive-in. Saturday night at the moment, who cares what picture you see? They were the place to be on a Saturday night. By the mid-1960s, there were 50 drive-ins entertaining Brisbane. In 1974, a big screen opened at Bean Lee, eventually renamed the Yatla Drive-In. Well, my grandfather first um, opened the, the second drive-in theatre in Brisbane at Aspley, and uh, from there he opened maybe seven or eight across Brisbane, and this one, Yatla, was the last one opened, and that was in 1974. Almost 40 years on, it still runs seven days a week, and business is strong. But now being one of the last ones, uh, we get a lot of people that, that, that come in from, from all areas, from Toowoomba, from Ibiswich, from, from everywhere. Come opening time, the cars flood in. We've been here so far maybe 25 times in the last month. The arrival of multiplex cinemas killed off many drive-ins, but Yatla has managed to remain competitive. With more than 500 car spaces, a Saturday night can attract an audience of around 1,500 people. Because drive-in theatres occupied so much land, they were ripe for redevelopment, and that's what drove the closure of most suburban drive-ins. But at Yatla, they have no interest in selling up. In fact, they're about to upgrade from original 35mm film projection to digital. A traditional experience still going strong. I don't think people who uh, have never been to a drive before know what they're missing. We'll keep it open for, for generations to come. It's good for people to experience something a little bit different.